Dean? Dean is standing by with more on how they are inspiring creative self discovery. Yes, good morning to all of you. Okay, so uh, we tried to do this last half hour, so we're going to try to do this real quickly to okay. catch you up to speed. So, Ooze Studio, uh, it is run by a lovely woman named Mia who joins us now on Zoom. Mia, can you hear me? Good morning to you. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we already had somebody reach out to me and say, Who is Mia? What is Ooze? So, why don't you quickly tell us what Ooze Studio is? Well, Ooze Studio started in the beginning of this year. It is a fine art studio that focuses on process art. We are oozing inspiration for creative self-discovery, so we focus on cultivating creative minds, not so much artistic talent or technical skill. So that's kind of us in a nutshell. I love that. Okay, so you actually on your Instagram page have been putting up kind of challenges and lesson plans for parents at home who are maybe turned into homeschoolers these days um, for them to do with their kiddos and also for the adults. I want to go through one of your projects. So what project are you going to teach all of us today? Um, well, today we're going to do something live at 10 a.m. Um, we do an hour for parents and it's going to be on Basquiat. I don't know if you've heard of Jean-Michel Basquiat. He's one of my favorite painters. And um, he did postcards to help him brand, uh, bridge himself from graffiti life to gallery life. And he sold his first postcard to, or one of his first, to Andy Warhol, became best friends with him, wow. and things took off. So we're going to do postcards today. Um, and you guys can send them to me if you want and get my address through our website, ooze.studio. But um, we're going to do it in his style. So what he did oh, was it. he oh. thought of words. He would put a lot of words into his paintings. Okay. And, so I'm going to give you guys an association, and you're going to think of the first word that pops into your head. You're going to draw something that reminds you of it, or you can put your word down. Oh, I'm so nervous. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to I'm start nervous. with is coronavirus. And any medium of, of drawing, right? Okay, sorry, what was your first word? Coronavirus. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I already know what I'm drawing. What are you drawing? <laughs> Should I tell the people at home what I'm drawing? <laughs> what I thought you can tell, you can tell everybody. TP. The thing is, is he really was into what was in the news, but this is also an outlet for children to be able to cope with their feelings and working with home, at home. So, um, so we like I put COVID nineteen and crossed it out. Basquiat wanted you to cross things out because it actually brought more attention to it. Uh -huh. So it was kind of a, a like a counteract counterintuitive approach that he took. Okay. Um, so the other word is going to be, um, you know, family. What's the first word or first image that pops in your head when you think of family? Ooh. And then you would draw something like that. Okay, I'm going to draw. For, for me, me, it's, it's a heart. heart. How about you guys for family? family? Mm. I was thinking of a picture. I have a picture of us in my head. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I, like that. I love that. And so I did my children, and yes. then I'm going to cross out this COVID because it really just makes me mad that my kids are even having to worry about that right now. So I'm right. going to cross that out. That was Basquiat style. Like, let's just get it out of here. So um, so we're kind of coping with that. And then the other word I want to say is uh, silly. What is the first thing you think of when you think of silly? Because that's how children really need to work through this is through humor and silliness. I think of Tina Makua. I definitely think of Tina Makua and her silliness. All day, every day. Uh, you know what? I, okay, I, love, I thought of silly so Those are the things that we rely on to get us through these hard times. Oh my so gosh, I, I love it. Okay. Where I put wax lips on and the kids all laughed. And, um, you know, we're just trying to keep things light. It's a little bit therapeutic. Yes. So that's, that's our little Basquiat mini lesson, if you will. So we'll do an hour of that later today. I love it so I much. Mia, it. thank you so much, I love first it. of all, for the drawing lesson. And then also, if you want to follow Mia U Studio on Instagram, she's also got a, piece, a Facebook page that she does private groups with, and you can go to her website as well. We'll have all the information on GoodDaySacramento.com. You guys want to show your pictures you drew? Yes.